What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel to another highly anticipated sketchbook tour. You guys saw in my previous videos that I was taking a little bit longer to complete the sketchbook because I really wanted to fill it in with nice illustrations, nice sketches and present it to you once I'm completely done. And I feel like this time is right now, the sketchbook is complete and I really can't wait to show it to you guys so you can see how it's changed and how is it looking in its final form. And just before we jump right into the video, a uh, couple of details about the sketchbook because I know that you guys are going to be asking. Uh, this is the Leuchtturm 1917 sketchbook and you could see this exact sketchbook in my previous videos as well. Because it's not my first time using this exact model of the sketchbook, I think I started using them like 2-3 years ago and I absolutely love them because the square format is just right up my alley. I also love the paper in it. It's thick, it's sturdy. It does bleed through though, but it's not a marker sketchbook, so I'm not mad about that at all. So yeah, I can highly recommend uh, this type of sketchbook for marker drawings. If you guys are interested, the link is down below. It's not sponsored, but if you want to get this sketchbook, you know where to go. And one more thing, actually completing this entire sketchbook took me a little bit longer than usual because I started it on October 2021, just right after I moved to, to Barcelona. And I just finished it, so yeah, it's been like seven, eight months more or less, obviously with breaks and stuff, but yeah, this took me a little bit longer than expected, but I'm finally ready to show it to you guys, fully completed. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so starting off from the cover, I mean, I used to decorate my covers, but I think I just like them pretty plain because I never have the idea of what to put in here, so yeah, just keeping it simple. But after we open the sketchbook, there are some stickers and obviously these are my stickers, I mean all of them are done by me. And those stickers with the writing, these are actually my graduation project, so these definitely give me some nice memories. And right away we're starting with the first sketchbook spread. Um, I love this illustration and I wish I actually finished it because it just lacks a little bit of more work on uh, her clothing and obviously finishing the phone case, but maybe I'll get into it, maybe, let's hope. And here we just have some sketches, which I think could use some color, but yeah, never got down to it and I think I never will anyway. This page is definitely not my favorite. I was drawing the actress from Squid Games and I like how her face turned out, but the outfit, I could have definitely changed it because I was sticking uh, with the reference and this is what she had and I'm not a fan. Here another page that I'm not really convinced. I really like this illustration, but I didn't have proper shades of pink for shading her clothing. So that's why the shading on her tracksuit doesn't look that good as it could have so yeah definitely not my favorite as well here we have some full body sketches that i never got to finish i don't know but i'm not really a fan of drawing full body silhouettes in this sketchbook because as you can tell it's not as obviously it's squared so it's not as tall and uh, for full body figures i need at least a4 to be comfortable with uh, all the proportions because i mean proportions are good but I can't really add so many details to the face, so uh, that's why I'm not really drawing full body figures like full on illustrations in, uh, in this sketchbook because it's just a little bit too small for me. Here I have some Posca portraits that I did quite recently actually when I was finishing up the sketchbook. And these are all done freehanded. I was just looking at references from Pinterest and I was just, you know, yeah, freehanding it. So I'm um, actually pretty proud of myself uh, because they actually look pretty good i would say i mean you can tell that this is highly Bieber, right <laughs> i mean i think i can tell that it's her i think that those posca sketches are definitely a cool addition to your sketchbook uh, just besides the normal illustrations and sketches so highly recommend doing them this is the illustration that I really want to get back to. I started it also quite recently, but I just stopped in the middle of the process. I can't really get back to it and I wish I did because I think it's a pretty cool illustration. Here are more unfinished sketches. 
this drawing I absolutely love. I love how her face turned out. I love how detailed are her wavy hair and yeah, everything about this illustration is actually pretty neat in my opinion. But the page itself looks a little bit blank. I would maybe add some sketches here and there, but I'm definitely not adding anything more right now. And now we're on to another full-on spread with some gym girls. I actually do quite like this spread just because of how um, quick and how effortless these sketches were and they actually look pretty cool. But one thing that bothers me with this entire spread is the color scheme. I really don't like how the blue goes with the pink and then this addition of green is just a little bit... Mm, disturbing for me. I don't know, when I look at this spread, I like it, but the colors... Mm -mm. I definitely would have picked something else if I were to redraw it right now. Here I was about to do those hair sketches, but I don't think I like doing them anymore that much, so... Blank page. Here is a spread that actually had a lot of potential, but as you can tell, it's not finished. This illustration of this sitting girl was coming together pretty well and I just wish I finished that. And honestly, I think in all of my sketchbooks, the biggest amount of illustrations are those illustrations that I wish I finished, you know? So yeah, I mean, we have to just deal with that, you know? Anyway, another drawing that I absolutely love. It's uh, a drawing done uh, with a reference picture, I think. You could see the full process in one of my vlogs. Um, yeah. I love how it turned out, the face, the shading, everything is just so perfect, in my opinion, obviously. Here I was trying to do those kind of meme drawings that I did a while ago, but I think, yeah, I didn't have like a clear idea of what I want to do, so I just left it like that. Oh, and here we're coming to another uh, one of my favorites. This is also done with a reference picture, but I absolutely love how the face turned out, her clothing, the color scheme. Everything is just 10 out of 10. Also, in my opinion, I hope that you guys agree. Okay, and here we go with another spread that is a little bit unfinished. I love this side of the spread. I think those two girls look so good together. I love the pose, I love the face. Yeah, these are one of the coolest drawings in my opinion, but here I just started on this sitting girl, which I didn't finish because I wasn't really sure about the pose and the whole concept wasn't there. So that's why it's pretty much unfinished, not even started. And another spread that uh, I really like. Um, the, the colors just vibe together so well and I really love the pose for this girl. Uh, I'm not a fan of her face though. It's not really the best face that I've done, but it's not that bad. <laughs> In general, it's a really cool drawing, this one as well. And here the same uh, scenario like on the previous spread. I wanted to draw a sitting girl. Didn't really work out, so can't be bothered. And another spread, a little bit uncompleted, which, yeah, just disturbs the whole idea of the spread, I would say. I like this one a lot. The face, again, in this one, is not my favorite. Um, this one, unfortunately, I didn't finish, but I didn't think that this drawing is you know, anything special. Maybe if she had a different outfit, it would be a little bit different, but I felt like this is a little bit too basic for my liking, if that makes sense. And another spread, it's just a bunch of spreads uh, in this part of my sketchbook. This one I actually really, really like. Uh, this drawing is one of my favorites. I really like how her face turned out. It's super like... Mm, it gives me like subtle, sensitive and a little bit flirtatious vibes, which I'm all for. Uh, and yeah, I, I like it. I just wish there was something else added here, but yeah, you guys know me. This was the drawing that I did for the color of the year 2022. The concept is nice, but I'm not really a fan of her face and yeah, 
If I were to draw it right now, I would definitely improve it a little bit. These are the sketches from my video where I was testing Holbein pencils. You can see the swatches here. Mm, definitely not finished, definitely not my favorite, so yeah, not much more to talk about. And this one, I really wish I finished once more, but but I would say I'm not really a fan of how this girl turned out, specifically her hair and her skin tone. It's a little bit too grayish for my opinion and I don't think it looks very well with the pinkish and purplish tones, so that's why I just stopped and didn't continue with this drawing, even though I think that the concept is great and I would love to still turn it into a full on illustration but i think i would have to redraw all of that and change the color scheme and yeah work on the colors uh, on this girl a little bit more another kind of wannabe spread but still a little bit too unfinished to call it a full-on spread here we have those lip drawings that i absolutely am in love with honestly i loved drawing these especially those lips with this kind of slimy thing dripping out of them um i love it i think honestly like these drawings are so simple and so fast to do but they give such a good effect on the paper, they look just so three-dimensional and like they are coming out of the page, so I definitely have to do some more of these. And here we have the Draw This Again uh, challenge, the Draw This Again drawing. Uh, I like it, but I think also it could use some improvement uh, right now. Speaking from this exact point in time, not from the time that I was drawing it, because back then I liked it. I mean, back then it was like, I don't know, three months ago. Here's my drawing uh, of Madison Beer. I really didn't like how I drew the face. I don't think she's similar. The face is a little bit off. Yeah, just let's not talk about it. Here I have some uh, call erase sketches. Just some quick studies with those erasable pencils that I always use for sketching. I really like how this page looks. Here I added some Posca and I think altogether it looks pretty fun. Here I was supposed to add something, but I mean... Here another page where I was freehanding some uh, Posca drawings. Uh, these are mainly done from references because I just feel more comfortable uh, taking some references and trying to, you know, mimic them. Obviously I'm not always sticking 100% to references because here the practice and the flow is more important than actually making the faces especially similar to this exact person that is on the picture but overall i really love uh, the look of the spread it's uh, very powerful very energetic and i definitely have to do more of these here is a page with some gym girls actually i was drawing myself <laughs> and i posted this uh, picture on the instagram it was this kind of gym meme but i didn't really like it so i just hid the post and yeah maybe i will repost it some other day but not really sure. Another half finished spread. I was drawing myself again. Don't think that I'm like weird, but yeah, it's kind of weird, but yeah. And uh, I like how the face turned out. It's not super similar to myself. I mean, it is, but not like 100% I would say. I could do some more work on the hoodie, but I just left it like that. And yeah, here's some random silhouettes and a portrait. Oh, these drawings I actually do really like. These are Euphoria Girls, uh, Kat and Maddie. I was drawing them for a video that you could see on my channel a while back. I really love how they turned out. Uh, both of them, I think, are great. Um, great actresses, great characters in the series, and also great drawings, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I do really like them. Next page. I like it, but it's also unfinished. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, this is actually, I mean, I posted uh, this, uh, a picture of this page on my Instagram, and this is a picture of my, uh, my fami uh, here on YouTube. I really, really love her vlogs and her videos. Uh, so I also like the picture of her, so I just had to draw it, you know? And this is also done from a reference, but I don't remember who it was. 
Another page where I was trying to get back to those hair drawings, but the colors are not my favorite and the hairstyle as well uh, are not something that I would be super proud of. And here I have uh, this little quick drawing that you guys could also see in my previous videos. Um, I was just trying to fill in my sketchbook with some uh, cool portraits and stuff, so I drew this one. Oh, and this one, this drawing is actually quite a recent one and I'm definitely gonna be finishing it. It's another sitting slash gym girl, so my obviously favorite combo right now. Uh, I love the pose, I love her face, I love the outfit, the colors. I just have to finish the shoes and do a little bit more of shading. But I think once this drawing is finished, it's gonna be fire, so I have to get back to it. Okay, and this is officially my favorite spread of this entire sketchbook. Even though these drawings are actually all done using references, I absolutely love how each and every drawing turned out. I feel like the face expressions, the shading, the colors are just on point and honestly I'm in love, I'm in love. I think my favorite has to be this one, it's my number one and this one is my close second favorite but yeah all together it looks really really good and i'm very very proud of uh, myself and of this spread let me know if you also think that this is the best spread of the sketchbook and on the other hand this drawing is something that i'm not very proud of i think that the proportions are a little bit weird her face is a little bit too big and overall yeah I'm not a fan of this drawing, so that's why I never posted it. And this page I actually also really, really like. Uh, I love the poses of those girls, and once more, gym girls are my favorite now. It looks just so simple, but yet it's actually really cool arranged. I was deliberating with myself whether I should add color or a little bit more of uh, contrast with maybe some Posca pens or stuff, but I just left it like that because I was afraid that I'm gonna ruin it. So that's why we just have those three simple sketches and I absolutely love them. Here I don't know what I had in my mind, but I just covered this page in this fluorescent uh, Posca. Uh, yeah, I think I was planning to add something on top, but it never happened. And here we have some more gym girls, not my favorite, just quite, quite okay, but yeah, nothing special about this drawing. And this is the page that you could see in my latest video where I was just doing sketch with me. I really like this page. I think it's very complete and I love the contrast of the finished illustration and the sketches. So definitely a good one. And here we have some more sketches. Uh, this group drawing, I think I'm gonna redraw and a different format and uh, I think that it could be a really fun illustration of again, gym girls. Yeah, blank pages because I thought that I'm gonna add color to these two. But yeah, uh, I think these are the very last, yeah, very last sketches of the sketchbook. Unfortunately, not completed, but I just couldn't be bothered anymore. And yeah, this is pretty much the end of my sketchbook. So yeah, this is pretty much uh, all for my 2022 sketchbook. Let's do a little flip through like a recap uh, I love doing those yeah that is it okay and that will be pretty much all for my 2022 sketchbook I really hope that you guys liked it let me know which of the illustrations or the sketches or what exactly did you like about my sketchbook and maybe how can I improve it next time for it to be more interesting or more diverse let me know and yeah and I'll be wrapping up thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next videos take care bye <laughs>